Fortunately, Liz Peake joins us this Thursday morning. All right, Liz, that difficult question. Does anyone believe that this president can be president for another five years? Well, apparently Joe Biden does, and maybe his wife, and maybe Hunter, who is safe as long as he's in the White House. Uh, but honestly, I think voters, we see it from polling all the time, voters increasingly think he is too old to be running for president, too old to be president. And, and you're right. The decline is so obvious, Stuart. Even go back to the election in 2020 and the debate and so forth. He did not look like this. It was an embarrassment. The entire meeting, in my view, was an embarrassment. And not just because President Biden looks frail and, by the way, also mentally frail. You didn't mention that. But you can't remember the lead uh, reporter for CBS, one of the main White House reporters. You can't remember who that is. That is obviously not a very good look. But this whole thing started with bad looks. The fact that we went in, we, Gavin Newsom and... Uh, I suppose Breed and other people involved in San Francisco went and cleaned up a city in order to showcase something that typically is a wretched place and that has been propagandized by the Chinese forever as being a hellhole. I mean, that is embarrassing to me. It's embarrassing that American CEOs lined up and paid thousands of dollars to have dinner with President Xi. Why is that an embarrassment? Xi needs them. They don't need Xi. I mean, right now, foreign direct investment into China has completely collapsed. Exports are down. Consumer sentiment is in the gutter. Yeah. Everything in China is now on Xi's plate. He is responsible. He's taken the economic management entirely onto himself, and it is a disaster. So this meeting should have been about America looking strong, imposing on China certain demands because guess what? We are the big economy. We are the big military. We're in a position to make demands on China. You never see that kind of vibe from this White House. It is astonishing to me. Okay, now watch President Biden call Xi Jinping a dictator. Roll tape. <laughs> Look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he, he is a guy who runs a country that is a communist country that based on former government totally different than ours. There's just no force there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know. He might have said, yes, he has, you know, pale gray hair. I mean, it was about as forceful as calling him a dictator. You, you, unfortunately, you didn't show uh, Anthony Blinken's reaction to that, which apparently was enormous dismay on his face because, of course, you can only script these meetings. And remember, he had walked out of this Q&A and then someone kind of called him back. And you can just imagine his staff going, oh, God, please do not let him answer any questions for which he has not prepared. And sure enough, <laughs> they got him at the end. <laughs> I wish I could have seen Blinken's face because yeah. that would have been very interesting. Liz, great stuff. Thank you very much. Thanks indeed. for having me. Always. Sure thing.